Hey there, so I thought it'd be pretty unnatural for me to have a YouTube channel and not talk about shoes, so I'm gonna share with you my favorite shoes for this month. So my first favorite shoe is the Smoking Slipper. So admittedly, it is a shoe from Shoes of Prey, but what I love about it is that it's a great classic shape. It's a good alternative to a ballet flat or you know some Oxfords to you know wear all around the city. I think it's just a little bit more dressed up, so you can get away with wearing this not just for walking around the city, but into the workplace as well. I've got it in grey here and what I like about the shape and having it in light grey means you can wear it with a lighter palette of materials. Things that I'm going to be wearing this with are mid-length skirts, so ones that come down to kind of calf length, definitely with my jeans, definitely with my leggings, you know, they're kind of go everywhere pieces. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm particularly excited about this because it's going to go with skirts really nicely as well and I get a bit freaked out sometimes that closed in shoes don't go with skirts, so pretty excited about this. Okay, shoe number two is a pretty cheeky purchase, I saved up for them for a while, they are the Chanel Espadrilles. So um, what I love about these is they're a really cool casual shoe because they're high cut here and also because of the material through the sides. Uh, they're so, so comfortable, the leather is buttery soft. Um, um, I think I also love them so much because it took me so long to find them. I searched for them everywhere that I was traveling on the road for about a year before I found someone who had them and it turned out they were in Barney's in case you're looking for them. Uh, I would wear them with uh, a skirt but only a darker colored skirt and definitely with leggings, jeans, all of those kind of, you know, regular you know, usual suspects in the wardrobe. My third shoe is my Nike Flyknit Zooms and these are a recent purchase. I love them because they're super light and they're unbelievably comfortable. I also love that Nike Flyknits are becoming something, or Nike Freeze even, have become something that you can wear as a fashion item as well. So for me, I try to sort of steer clear of wearing tights too much with these because I think it starts to go towards that sports luxe unless you're looking for that particular you know, style. Um, and I also avoid wearing these with skirts. So it's a bit more of a jeans kind of thing or, you know, a cute pair of shorts and things like that. So it might be a bit of a surprise to you that three of the four shoes have all been flats, but look, I'm definitely either totally flat or a really high heel kind of girl. So my last shoe is a heel and it's this pair of Oxfords. So I'm totally in love with these because of the block heel. So it's so comfortable to wear and looks really chic. Uh, also, it's a 4.5 inch heel, but feels like four inches because of the platform underneath. I've been wearing these with ankle grazing trousers, with leggings. Um, I haven't managed to put into a dress situation yet, but I think it would uh, play off really well, particularly when lighter colors are in, such light colors anyway. Also, just a little disclaimer, um, these are from Shoes of Prey and Janie Bryant. It was a collaboration. Janie Bryant is the costume designer from Mad Men, so you can really see that coming out in this shoe. But I totally love wearing them. I've been getting a ton of compliments and I'm so happy they're in my life. So I put links to all the shoes below. If you're chasing the Chanel Espadrilles, I wish you all the luck in the world because they're really tough to come by. Um, I also have an Instagram account where I post a lot of photos of shoes because I work with shoes. And I also will be putting on the Instagram account uh, the outfits that I talked about above that goes with each of the shoes that I talked about. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you have a great week. And until next time, don't forget, do everything before you're ready. Bye.